Wait, can you go stand in front of the table again? Um, face this way first, and then face the, like, look down, and face the other way. We're also getting, and then face the, come here, and then face forward. No, to the window, sorry, I meant this time. And then go two steps to your uh, other side. One more step. Okay. You can like, you know, zoom out and like put in like a two second shot of you like standing there or looking with your hands or on your hips dance. or something. That works too. <laughs> Today we're doing a step-by-step -step instructional video to show you guys how to make these super cool little, uh, little zipper packs. The design for these was totally inspired by Patagonia. They make some similar things. Uh, they call them packing cubes. They're really similar. Just a little bit different size, a few different materials, different strappy things. Um, the ones they sell are really good quality and reasonably priced. So if you don't want to spend like hours or whatever, however long it takes you to make these, you can just go buy one. Um, I really like them for putting uh, fishing gear and stuff in my backpacks, but you can use them for anything. Some people use them for socks, underwear, toys, whatever you like in your suitcase. Um, I started trying to make them just as kind of a fun project to do some practice sewing and to use up some of our scrap materials. And uh, I quickly realized that it could be tough to make money on them unless we pay people like four dollars an hour but i got carried away anyways and now we have all these and some of these and this stuff and these nice instructions and diagrams so that anyone can make them um there might be a few things that you could do differently or more better um, I don't know, I'm just guessing, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, here we have finished bags. Open. Open. Closing. Closed. And then here we have some half-finished pieces for these half-finished bags. This one's together part pieces strappy things and then over here we have a bunch of pieces and more pieces to make the rest of the pieces that we need and here we have some nice instructions and diagrams and tools and materials list and before we start cutting any of this we'll just quickly go over this yeah, so another thing, if you want these uh, cool, cool diagrams and instructions, you can just email me. Uh, email is dar underscore ion at hotmail.com. Oh, and just specify what you're looking for, and I'll send you send you over the PDF. Okay, so now we're just gonna quickly go over a few of these material materials instructions diagrams and a few of the tools that we're gonna need so for the materials first we need a 36 by 36 or one square yard of the PVC vinyl which is this stuff here uh, 15 by 24 of the any kind of small mesh like this uh, 36 inches of this half inch nylon webbing uh, 28 inches of this little one inch kind of ribbon binding and 36 inches of the number five coil zipper and 74 inches of the number three coil zipper and then we're also going to need two of the number five non-locking zipper heads and four of the number three non-locking zipper heads. And that's pretty much it for the materials. Um, tools you'll need to do this, obviously, sewing machine. If you have a sewing machine, you probably have scissors 
nippy thing, clippy thing, ruler, ruler, square, thread, and then you're good. Uh, so for the instructions, first we're gonna cut two of the top and bottom piece, which is that piece there. And then you're gonna cut four of the sides, which is that piece there. Notch all the centers on both of those. Um, after that, you know, cut your cut your two pieces of mesh, mark centers. Uh, after that, you're gonna cut one one number five coil zipper at 36 inches, and then you're gonna mark the ends at 33 and a half inches apart and mark centers. And then for the number three coil zipper, you're gonna cut them at 37 inches and mark them at 34 and a half inches apart on the ends and mark centers. Next, you wanna cut four pieces at seven inches of this little ribbon binding. After that, we're gonna do one piece that's one and a half by eight out of this PVC vinyl here, and then another piece that's the same size, one and a half by eight out of this really thin kind of PVC material. And after that, you can start cut up this webbing. You're gonna get two pieces at 10 inches apart one at seven and one at six inches and then you're gonna need five of these little pieces of one and a half by one and a half ish reinforcement hello okay so for the diagrams here We have this first one is for the top and bottom, and this is a quarter piece. So what you're basically gonna do is the size that's 16 and 7 eighths by nine and a half. Um, you can just draw two squares that size and then cut out this piece just outside the lines. And then you can use it just to trace the corners in, into the square. I'll show you with this one here. Um, kind of just like I've done here, yeah. And then you can do the same thing for these side pieces. You're going to draw a four square rectangle, I guess, that are 18 and a quarter by three and three eighths. And then you can just line this up and make sure that you get that corner nicely and that this little part here is left square at about a quarter inch and then for the mesh we're gonna make a square 14 by 11 again cut this out just outside the line and use it just to get your shape of your corner these are just to show you for the one and a half by eight inch part. This one's for the big zipper. You've got your notches at six inches apart. And then this one is a diagram for these little, little purple pieces here. Okay, so now we've got these little pattern pieces all cut out. One thing I forgot to mention, when you go to print these, you wanna make sure you have your thing set on portrait and use A4 formatting, or else these are not gonna come out the right size. And so like I was saying before, what you're gonna do is draw a square that is 16 and seven eighths by nine and a half. And then you're just gonna fit these right into the corner. As long as you cut these out just outside of that line, they will be perfect. 
And then same thing for this one over here. You get a square that's 18 and a quarter by three and three eighths. And then we're gonna use this piece here just to trace the corner. And for this piece here, I already cut it, but you can see if we were to draw a square, that's 14 by 11 and use this piece to trace all your corners, mark your centers, good to go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and this and notch all the centers, just like this. And then we'll pretty, be, pretty much be good to uh, start sewing some of the stuff together. Oh yeah, one more thing for this, I like to I like to mark my sew line because I am still an amateur and I find it very helpful. So we got these pieces all cut out, we've got pretty much all of the pieces that we need. These ones are marked, the notches at 6 inches, 8 inches there, 8 inches there so we can just cut them. Uh, the first part I'm going to show you how to sew is this piece here. So we'll get a few of those done and then... We'll show you how to do this piece here and these pieces here. And then after that, we'll sew this piece to this piece and this piece. And it will look like this piece. And then once you have all of that done, we can sew this piece and this piece to this piece and it will look like this piece okay so before we start sewing we've got good side of the material back side of the material you want it to be sitting like that to start you want to make sure that these two notches in the center are lined up and then you can kind of walk it around and you'll see that if everything's cut properly and your notches is good that little sew line should end up right there you can start just like that and they should all work out perfectly so we got that notch walk it around start it right there Perfect.
So that's the first side done. I'm gonna do the same thing the other side. Let's first check center notch. Walk it around. You gotta bend it around that corner a little tiny bit, which is fine. It's supposed to be like that, I think. I like to put little little back tacks pretty much everywhere that I sew on and off. If you're brave or you like stuff to fall apart, you don't have to, but it's good. Once you get your first seam done on both of those, you're gonna, first of all, grab scissors and Stick a couple notches. One, two, three, four. In each corner. Just so that when we go to top stitch it, that stuff lays nice. That's kind of how it's supposed to be. And now we're gonna sew all the top stitch lines. When you go to do the top stitching, just make sure that you have a piece from the side, a piece from the side tucked in so that it's being sewn to the top piece. I like to I like to sew pretty close, just because it looks cool. You can sew wherever you like. Do one row of stitching, two rows of stitching. Two rows is better. It's more stronger. So I'm going to do two on all these. But... And yeah, I'm going slow because I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, so... Yeah, so now we got that first row done. We're just gonna go back and do the same thing right beside it. Okay, so once you get those two top stitch seams done, it'll look kind of like that, which is all right. I kind of messed up there. The rest is good. Pretty good. Good enough. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then same thing to this one here. So that they both look like that on both sides once you're done that then we'll move on to the zippers okay so now we've got this piece and this piece both of these pieces done we can just set them aside and now we're gonna do 
these zippers. Make them like this. So first one we're gonna do is the big one. And for that, all you're gonna need is the zipper and these two eight by one and a half inch pieces. You need to put the zipper heads on before you sew those to the zipper. And I'll show you how to do that. So to install these zipper heads, all you gotta do is the first one, slide it on like that and pull apart there and push right there and it should just pop on like that and then you can take the other one and the trick with this is to kind of angle both of those inwards and line it up and it should just slide right on like that okay so once you got your zipper head on and your zipper and you got this piece with your notches at six inches, you're gonna take and fold it right where those notches are and right where we marked these lines that were 33 and a half inches apart. That's gonna get sewn on right there, just covering that black line. Make sure you have an even amount on either side of the zipper. One like that. Turn it around and then do another back the other way. And yeah, I put back tacks everywhere because I don't like stuff falling apart. Okay, yeah, so. We got this piece together like that and we're gonna do the same thing over here make sure your whole zipper is straight fold her there line her up with that line that we marked that way and then one back the other way yeah okay so once you get this piece on here like that here you go cut those a little bit shorter burn them a bit just for fun yeah. and then we're going to take this piece here and fold the one end another end and you're just going to sew about an eighth of an inch from the edge along both edges okay so for this part start by folding this line it up there and then we're just gonna sew it down the sides like so Once you get to about there, stop, fold this piece in, just like that, and then you can finish.
I always like to burn all these little threads just because you don't have to. I just like to. Now, once you have this piece connected, you can go ahead and mark your center, all four centers. So center there, center there, and then do the opposite like that. And now to put these two zippers together, we're gonna need these four pieces of ribbon that were cut at seven inches. And then you want them either folded and ironed or marked at five inches apart. So they're exactly five inches long there. And we need to stick these zipper heads on here, same way that we did with the other zipper. Just like that. These ones, you stick them on just like this, just the same. Like that, pull, push, pull, push. If it's not working good, you can just cut a tiny bit off. Sometimes the teeth are just in a funny place and it won't work. But if you get it cut right, you should be able to slide them on easy. When you slide on this one, just make sure that the zipper has a bit of a angle on it when it goes in there and it will slide in much easier okay so when we're putting these on we're putting it's kind of hard to see putting one on the bottom and one on the top just covering that line that we marked at 34 and a half inches apart so can kind of get it like that and like that and then squeeze it and get it under there <laughs> and so for this one you're gonna do start there go across turn go all the way down this side same thing there and back up that side Keep those lined up nicely. Okay, so apparently we ran out of thread there, so we're starting again here. Again, before you get all the way to the end, stop for one second. Tuck that zipper in so that the line you marked at 34 and a half is just covered. Let's get to the corner, do a little turn. Down across that way, and then one more row going all the way back. And we're going to do the same thing again to this other zipper. And before we start this one, we're going to trim it properly on both ends fire squeeze and so same thing one on the bottom one on the top both of those purple pieces are flush and just covering the little black line there Same thing, once you get 
inch or so away. Stop for one second. Make sure your zipper is not twisted. Insert. And we can finish sewing it out to the corner here. Stop quick, turn. And I'm sewing along here, I'm pulling a little bit because this ribbon's kind of weird. So now we have one, two, three little zipper loops. I can put this one aside for one second. Next thing we're going to be doing is sewing these each of these. So the pink and green I think go well together. Blue and orange are good. So we're going to do it that way. Okay so before you start sewing these to these you want to make sure that you mark your centers. One, two, three, four. I like to just use a sharpie because it makes a mess. Yeah, so once you got your four notches, you got four notches on this and four notches on this. Start. This piece centered on that notch approximately a quarter to three-eighths about a quarter to three-eighths showing on the edge here and your stitch line you're gonna start about three-eighths I've got it just so that the foot's even with this ribbon piece and the zipper and that's where we're going to try and keep it all the way around. Yeah, and so for most of this, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are pulling, pulling on the zipper a bit and squishing, squishing that screen in there. As long as you squish the screen just a little bit as you go and pull on the zipper and keep it at about quarter inch to three eighths there, you should have All the notches lining up. Perfect, so once we have that piece like that, the first row of the zipper is upside down, just like that. We can set that aside and do the same to the other piece quickly. Just slightly ease in that mesh. And 
Yeah, so once you have them both like that, you got your first row in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another row right there with this stuff flipped inside like that. And we're gonna start right in the center and run one row stitching there. And so once you have that second row done all the way around, this piece is ready to get sewn to that piece. And we got to do the same thing to this piece. And if you want, you can trim this little bit of extra stuff. Go for it, make sure it's full a bit under. Okay, so to get these pieces here to look like this piece, all we're gonna need to do is sew one row stitching right close to the edge of both the zippers all the way around. And how this is gonna go, it's kind of weird. Um, this piece is going to get centered on this piece, obviously. And you want to sew, so you're looking at the insides of the zippers. This piece is going to go on there, like that, all the way around. And the other piece is going to go like that all the way around. You want both of the zippers to be facing outwards and then you're gonna sew this one to this one. So keep it centered, down a little bit, and you want the zippers, you want the zippers to be sitting flush with each other while you sew them. So as soon as we've got our center lined up right here, this usually ends up, the purple piece will sit back about an eighth of an inch from this gray piece here. And if you measured everything right and whatnot, they should sew together perfectly as long as you put a 
tiny bit of tension on the bigger, the bottom piece. And just every time you get close to one of those notches, marks, you can check and adjust if need be. Okay. And whenever you come up close to any of these zippers here, you can just simply lift your foot and slide them past. Yeah. So now we've got that one all attached to the big zipper. Should look like that on the inside. Kind of like that on the outside. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this piece. And when you get to this part right here, you just want to make sure that your zipper is nice and in line with the other zipper. Okay, so now we're ready to sew this piece. I'm not talking to you. Now, now we're ready to sew this piece here to these pieces. Okay, so once you got this piece, these pieces, this thing, we'll have it open. And now we're gonna sew it to this piece, starting in the center back. And how that's gonna work is when it's finished, it's gonna be folded about like that and attach to there. So what we've got to do then is this piece ends up getting sewn to the outside starting right there and you're going to want to keep that keep them flush like that and keep your stitches right in here basically as close to this pink zipper the small zipper as you can get it and you're going to go all the way around and watch your notches as you go if it all works nicely they should line up perfectly and one other thing here for doing this part I like to put the little half foot on the machine. If you don't have one, you can do it without it. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, and so when you're sewing this part of the zipper on, it is easier if you unzip this. Totally. And then you can just deal with the zipper and the material that's here. And it looks like I just checked the notch and it looks like we're going to need To ease the zipper in so I'm pushing it slightly as I sew it keeping that foot inside of that foot as close as we can to the inside of this zipper here and that notch lined up perfectly so 
I'll just keep doing the same thing. So now that we're at this notch here, we can see it's good. Keep going. And keep that lined up at the edge. And keep your foot in as tight as you can to that other pink zipper there. And that looks like it's lining up just perfectly. If we just continue to sew it just like we are, it should be perfect. So once you get to this part here, you're going to need to move both of these zippers just to there to finish this last little bit here. Okay, so once you have that first row done, it should look something like this. So, okay, now we've got that first row done, and the next row that we're going to do is going to be right here. And as you can see, we'll just flip it like that. We'll start right here and just make sure that this piece of the zipper is turned down and run just one row stitching all the way around. And then we can repeat for the other side. Okay, so for this part here, I've got this side of the bag under the machine and the mesh things over here. You gotta be kind of careful with them as it starts to spin around because you don't wanna accidentally sew through them. So yeah, we're gonna start in the middle there and just carefully put a nice top stitch all the way around the thing. And as you pass this little thick section right here, you have to move, move your zippers. Push it through. As soon as you get to a point where you can move those zippers, move them.
And so once you get about an inch away from these zippers here, you gotta make sure you get that green one and that little pink one that's somewhere on the bottom. Get them past the foot. Make sure there's nothing else under there. And then you can finish sewing. here okay so that's one side totally done And we just gotta do same thing. So other side. Hello. For the other side, we're doing the exact same thing. We got this is the outside of the bag. This is the outside of the bag. Notch, notch. And we're going to start sewing right there. About an inch or so past that purple strip, you can pull the zippers apart. And now we only have to deal with this little piece of the zipper and just be careful of the other pieces of the bag that are hanging out there So again, not really pulling on the zipper at all. Just kind of laying it there and keeping that foot as close as we can to those teeth. So this last tiny little bit is the trickiest part. It looks like it needs to be eased in a little bit more. So we're just going to push on that as we do that last little bit. We got to get these two zippers. Out of the way. So when you're sewing across this part, it's kind of helpful if you pull it from the backside because it's kind of thick.
Yeah, same here when you're crossing. These big bumps, go slow and pull it. Push it, pull it, push it, do whatever. Again, once you get to this point, you need to get that zipper and whichever zipper is attached to the side that you're working on, past the foot, make sure it's all still flipped over nicely, get this tab to make sure there's nothing else under there, and then you can finish. Here we have finished bag. All done now. And so there's one more step here that I'm not gonna show you guys because if you managed to get this far, should easily be able to figure out how to put these four little straps on. So on the list of materials we had two that are 10 inches are for these two here and then one that's seven inches they all just get folded a little bit like that and if you want to be fancy you can do a little bit of sewing in the middle there. But yeah so this Seven inch one goes there, two 10 inch ones there, and the five inch one goes like this, kind of there. I'm not a professional sewer, so if you're a good sewer, you could probably do a better job. These aren't perfect. If you have any comments or questions, concerns, tips, insults leave a comment um yeah i hope you enjoyed and like follow subscribe hello okay one more thing here cool bags diagrams and instructions of cool bags but blah 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 um all i really care about is likes follows and subscribe so if you could at least do that i'd really appreciate it